installed the demo content and you're using the main homepage, this video will show you how to customize it for your site. The first thing we need to do is look at the content and layout settings already in use. This will tell us where the homepage headers, footers, and body content are coming from. We'll start by seeing what layout is assigned to the homepage by going to the Layout Manager under the Appearances menu. Scroll down to the default section and see what home page is assigned for the default home page. From this we know we need to open the layout named home page to see the header, footer, and content settings. Edit the header options to view the assigned content sources. Each header can have two different content sources. This header is using a slideshow named home page as the first content source and no content for the second. Next we can check the main menu sidebar, or masthead as it's called in Vellum. This tells us if a custom logo, background, or other design settings specific to this masthead are in use. Because the masthead settings are empty, we know that the site-wide defaults for this homepage header are being used, instead of the default, the specific ones for this masthead. It may seem unnecessary to check these things, but in Vellum structure, any single layout can override the default theme options. To be sure of where a setting is applied, we need to verify the layout settings first. Next, we can look at the design settings in the right column. We can see these layout options are also empty, which means they are being set by the default theme options too. The last thing is the footer. This also has two content sources. We can see that they are set to static blocks named footer top and footer bottom. Now we know where everything comes from and can start editing. Because most of the settings for the default home page layout were not specified, we can begin by changing the default theme options. Go to Appearance, Theme Options. We'll change the logo first. Next, switch to the Backgrounds tab and we can set the masthead background image. Remember, this is the image you see in your sidebar with your main menu. Save your changes and refresh the home page to see your updates. For the next change, we'll modify this logo in your header. We already determined that the content source for your header was a slideshow named Homepage. So we'll navigate to the Revolution Slider plugin and edit this slideshow. Find the Homepage slideshow, then click the Edit Slides button. Open slide number two to edit. Scroll down and select the first logo image labeled Vellum WordPress Theme and click Change Image Source. Select your logo and then do the same for the second logo image layer. There are two logos because one is for desktop displays and the other for mobile devices. You can see how we control this from the advanced parameter section where a custom class is used to specify the layer visibility. After saving your slideshow, you can view your site again to see the changes. The last part is the footer. If you remember the layout settings, we determined both footer content sources were using static blocks. Navigate to the Static Content area and edit the static blocks for Footer Top and Footer Bottom. This covers all the vellum specific areas of your homepage. To modify your page content, check the reading settings of WordPress to see what page is assigned. The front page is set to a page named Home Pages. Go to your WordPress Pages area and open this page to do your main content editing. Now you have everything you need to start customizing your own homepage.